It's Thursday, August 18th. Welcome to Netlink Daily. I'm your host, Julia. Let's get it started. Looks like AMD is preparing for a huge comeback in the CPU department. Today they unveiled the new Zen microarchitecture with a pair of CPUs. First up was AMD's Summit Ridge CPU, which is aimed at high performance desktops. It features 8 cores and simultaneous multi-threading technology, giving it 16 threads of processing power. Simultaneous multi-threading technology, or SMT, is similar to Intel's hyper-threading technology. The second chip, codenamed Naples, will feature a whopping 32 cores with SMT giving it 64 threads. To prove that the new AMD chips have got what it takes, AMD officials pitted their Summit Ridge against an i7-6900K in a Blender rendering application demo with both chips running clock for clock at 3 GHz. The Zen CPU ended up coming out on top in this particular demonstration. Reports suggest that if Zen can continue to perform at this level with other software and benchmarks, when Zen ships in early 2016, it will be an interesting year for CPUs. What do you guys think? Think about AMD's potential comeback. Is it about time? Let us know and comment below. Thanks to a forum post, we might know when the Android Nougat update is arriving. Canadian phone carrier TELUS posted an update schedule for various devices in its forum. Many phones are listed in the update schedule, but there are two phones to take note of here. They were the Huawei Nexus 6P and the LG Nexus 5X. Both are scheduled to receive the Android N update on August 22nd, which is next Monday. While this isn't an official announcement from Google, TELUS was successful in predicting the Marshmallow launch last year, so keep that in mind. I mean, they should probably change their company name from Tell Us to Tell Everybody, because yeah. Facebook might be looking to compete with Steam? Today, Facebook formally announced that it's working with game engine Unity to build a dedicated downloadable desktop gaming platform. Essentially, this will allow publishers to offer their iOS and Android games on desktop. Developers have until the end of August to apply for a closed alpha of the export tool that is integrated directly into the Unity editor. There's not much other details of any sort or timeline of when this partnership will show off any official product, but with the way things are going, this could be a potential competitor for the Steam and Geo for the casual gaming audience. It's time for... Anyone with the developer or beta version of Chrome for Android may get access to an updated new tab page that is partly driven by Google Now, which lists recommended articles much like how Google Now cards do. Star Trek fans rejoice! Ubisoft is now making a VR game that lets you take on the role of captain, engineer, tactical officer, or helmsman on the Enterprise-style Aegis Bridge. Shields up, red alert. Nokia's first VR camera, the Ozo, is now affordable. Kind of. The new price tag for the Ozo is $45,000, down from the previous $60,000. Uh, thanks Nokia, but no thanks. Speaking of Nokia, reports are confirming that Nokia will be back with three smartphones by the end of this year. Intel has a new proof of concept VR vest that was shown at IDF. The vest houses an entire PC with the whole contraption weighing in at about 5 pounds. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCX forum post linked in the description. Can't roll my R's very well, gonna butcher this. Trenta tre tretini andarono e trento tutti e trenta tre trotto delando. Sorry. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to have access to all of your stuff when you're away from your PC? We have the perfect solution for you. All you need is the free Unity app at getunity.com slash NCIX. Download it on any computer you want to access and install the mobile app on your phone or tablet. Once the connection is complete, you have access to all of your stuff. There's no syncing required, complicated configurations, and nothing is stored in the cloud. There's lots of other things you can do too with Unity, like access your iTunes library from your Android device, stream movies to your TV, share any sized video with your friends, and the list goes on. You can even download files to your device if you know that you're going to be away from internet access. So what are you waiting for? Get unlimited access to all of your stuff on all your devices by visiting getunity.com slash NCIX or click here or the link in the description to learn more and download Unity for free.
All right, that's it for Netling Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, like the video, comment for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. See you later. Will.